In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slow. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the great houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the inner sphere, dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Mechs. The year is now 3015, and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries' trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. Captain Mason, please report to the hangar for testing. The Centurion is waiting for you. Son, Fahad wants us to run the Centurion through its paces to see how it does. He spent months getting it operational again after we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen 2. What a bloody shit all that place was. Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises, though, way. Eh? He's joking, I think. Go on and power her up. Good. 
Bahad? Yeah, bringing up the systems now. Okay, armor and structure display up. Weapon systems up. Tactical display up. Everything looks good to go. Keep in mind there's parts on that mech that are at least 200 years old. So ease it forward slowly and we'll see how it goes. And don't forget to hit the brake once you're clear of the hangar. Look at her go, right? That's my girl. She's a beauty, isn't she? Certainly is. Okay, engage reverse throttle and navigate into the waypoint I've set up. Use your tactical display to see where you're going. Override engaged. System offline. your drone cam. Let's go ahead and do a left-right rotation test. Okay, now let's make sure the torso is working properly. Try looking around in all directions. As you can see, the torso rotates independently from the legs. Your direction of movement, therefore, may differ from the direction you're actually looking. If you check your tack screen, you can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line, and your torso orientation is represented by the cone. Move your torso to the left or right, then try aligning your legs with the torso. Looking good. The mobility course is next. Show me how fast you can get through those turns while still hitting each of the waypoints. have a good balance between speed and firepower. All we have to do now is find out if the weapon systems work. Boy, what do you mean if the weapons work? 
You know how long I spent stripping each one of those components and putting them back together again? They'll bloody well work, mate. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go shoot some stuff. Follow me. You know, back when I was your age, I once slammed the hunchback I was piloting right into my instructor's javelin. Oh man, was he pissed. Come on, DeMason. Yeah, go ahead, Rihanna. Thought you'd want to know that all repairs to the Leopard have been completed. We're now spaceworthy and ready to take on our next contract. How's the kid faring? Huh. He's a natural, just like his old man. I see humility is still in short supply, as usual. Just don't break that mech. We need it in full working order. Weapon systems are now online, gents. Be gentle, hey? Always, my friend. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> All right. I've mapped the auto cannon to weapon group one. You're free to fire whenever you're ready. generate significant heat. You can see the temperature readout next to your armor and structure display. All weapons generate heat when fired. You overheat your mech during a firefight and it could trigger a shutdown, so keep that in mind. Now for the fun stuff. Long-range missiles are set to weapon group three. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but never mind that, just go ahead and fire at will. LRMs don't track unless you have a target lock on something. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. Let's try targeting a drone first, and this time before you fire your LRMs. It makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? Next step is to test moving and firing at the same time. I've set up a series of aerial targets for you. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side.
Everybody's shooting. Now take up a position by the barricade. Okay, I've projected three mechs, each with differing damage profiles. You should see them in the ravine below. Target the first one on your left. You can zoom in on the target for a more accurate shot, if you need to. Targeting and telemetry seem to be working. Note the center torso on that first mech. It's reading heavily damaged. Destroying the CT will destroy the mech no matter its relative condition. Go ahead and destroy the center torso. You see that second mech? Both legs are heavily damaged. With one leg destroyed, mechs become easy targets. Both legs, <laughs> it's over for them. Take out both legs. is seriously damaged. It's a difficult shot to make, especially in the chaos of battle. But the fastest way to take out a mech is to eliminate the pilot. Go ahead and try shooting the cockpit. There you go. Now we're almost done. The battle simulation I've set up for you is the last hurdle. Follow me. You're gonna go head-to-head -head with an urban mech. They're slow and poorly armored. Perfect for this particular test. Should be a piece of cake for a pilot like you. We'll have to listen to him gripe about how rough we are on his battle mechs. 
Small price to pay, I suppose, for having one of the best mechanics in the entire inner sphere. I'm at the rendezvous point, but our contact isn't here. You see anyone, son? The salvage crates at the last checkpoint were empty. Now something's up if they're missing payments. This is Commander Mason of Major Campbell. Make a note. Looks like someone is gonna need a lesson in paying their bills on time. That's odd. What the hell? Knowledge. I have a visual. It's bloody white, sir. We are evacuating. We need to take what we have and go. The fastest way is across the swamp. Captain, where are you going? It's possible they left the cash at the last checkpoint in the city. Let's get the money and run, Commander. This is reckless. We need to get back to base. They're distracted with the invasion. We'll be in and out before they know we're here. Let's hope it's not us they're after. I don't like this, son. This is a ghost town. We're close. I can smell the sea bills. There's nothing here. Relax. We'll be out of here in no time. We're being tagged! Look out! Incoming airstrike! Commander, left arm is offline is all. That was close. Return to base now. I am not leaving you behind. We were set up, and you're in no shape to fight. Meet me at the extraction point with the Leopard. Go! Now, Captain! Damn it. On the move. Commander, an enemy dropship is approaching your position. Move! Now! I've got eyes on. Identified. Hunchback and King Crab. Ugh. Damn it. Rihanna, any idea what these guys want? I picked up some chatter about coordinates of some kind. That mean anything to you? Coordinates? No, Rihanna. Promise me you won't leave without Jake. Promise me. Commander, I promise. Commando, good to see you. I'm not much for sentimentality, but I worked with your father for a long time. He was a good man. Hell, he sacrificed his life to save ours. I don't know what's going to happen next, but whatever it is, I'd like to be part of it. I'd like to stay on as your ops commander. That is, if you'll have me. You kidding me? Your family, Rihanna, are as close as I have now. Besides, I'm going to need you. Yes, I suspect you will. About Isitrep, it's not great news. 
Those bastards that came after us are in the process of setting up a blockade of the system, which means we're going to be trapped here with a tightening noose around our necks unless we do something about it. Who are these guys? Another mercenary outfit by the looks of it. I don't know more than that at the moment. And these coordinates they were looking for? Not a clue, but we're going to find out. First things first, we need transport out of the system. That means a jump ship. I sent out a transmission right after the attack through the HPG. The message was for a longtime client of your father's and an old friend of mine. Name is Spears. He has powerful connections. I'm hoping he can help us out. Until I hear back from him, there's nothing we can do except lay low. In the meantime, Fahad wants to see you down in the hangar. The Centurion needs repairs and he wants to discuss them with you. I'll let you know when I hear back from Spears. Copy that. Hey mate, figured you'd want an update on the Centurion. Took a bloody beating back there, so fair warning, it's gonna be a while before she's operational again. Means you're gonna have to get comfortable with the light mech over in Bay One for now. She's a good girl, won't let you down and treat her right. I'll do my best. Yeah, heard that before. Anyways, you know the drill, access the repair terminal here. Once you're done, I'll get started on the work, eh? Hey, Commander. I've received a transmission from Spears in response to my request for help. Take a listen. Rihanna, I received your message. I'm sorry to hear about Nikolai. He was a good man and an even better pilot. He'll be sorely missed. I assume his son will be taking over the operation. Nikolai was always bragging about the boy's skills. Well, I hope he was right. I've begun working on a plan to get you safe passage out of the system. But it's gonna take a little time. I expect you already know by now that whoever attacked you has set up a blockade to prevent your escape. It's a large system though, so we can use that to our advantage. As soon as you receive this, I want you to proceed to the outermost planet in the system. It's a little more than a hunk of ice with a few leftover mining operations on it. There's an abandoned power station there. Now I've got it on good authority that local raiders are using it as a secret cache for their ill-gotten goods. I know you can use supplies and materials for your repairs, and I expect you'll find what you need at that location. 
I've attached the exact coordinates to this message. Once I have a proper plan in place, I'll contact you again. For now, be safe. All right, time to suit up, Commander. I've already input the coordinates. All I need is for you to sign off and get us there. Understood. is lightly armed, Commander. But what it lacks in firepower and armor, it makes up in speed and mobility. I'm sure you wish the Centurion was repaired and ready to go. For this particular mission, though, the Javelin is the mech best suited for the job. And hey, it has jump jets. They could come in handy. Good try, Rihanna, but I'd still rather have the Centurion. Well, can't blame a girl for trying. used by these raiders is derelict, Commander, but you can bet its perimeter defenses won't be. My guess, the raiders will have turrets stationed around the perimeter. If that's the case, it means they must have a generator close by. Find and destroy that generator before assaulting the plant, and you'll have a much easier time of it. Got it. Thanks. Heads up, Commander. I'm detecting enemy units up ahead. Could be a raider patrol. Copy.
There's a large chunk of ice blocking the path down to the generator. Use your jump jets to get over it. Blown. The turret should be disabled now. 